Hey guys, what's up? It's both your one and only, and today we're going to be playing Lord of Dice. Now, I completely forgot about this game. To be honest, I was going to play it like way back when it was like still on the Q app and didn't even come to the Google Play Store. But it is on the Google Play Store now, so I saw it and I was just like, yeah, I should probably play it now. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. So from what I saw, it's pretty much like a card and um card and dice game all right so i just pretty much skipped the story um you guys can you know go through that when you guys play the game or if you want to play the game um the story is pretty much these guys the travelers just found like the princess and pretty much there's an evil team where they're actually called team evil they're following the princess trying to capture her so yeah uh, either Arthur or... Mm, I think I like Arthur the most. Even though I can't change his name or anything. Do I want to start the tutorial or skip? Let's start the tutorial just to see what's going on. I don't want to like stick to this story like too long. Mostly since it's a tutorial, I don't think I want to skip it. I mean, she kind of forced herself upon us, just saying. それにグレイルなんて女探してないで私たちの敵なんですから敵どういうことだから質問ばっかりやめてて。ちょっとお話中悪いんだけど私たちがいるの忘れてないのその通りレイチェルのことは諦めろ is this whole group feels like they're a whole bunch of ruffians. Dicers? <laughs> All right, so we're getting into the tutorial now. Okay, well then, the story's actually started off really confusing, but this should be interesting. Kind of, kind of wondering why they chose vertical over horizontal though. Dicer intro, and Lord of Dice, you play the game using six dicers. Select the dicer to move. I guess I'm forced to use her. All right, she moves two. All right, adds 10 damage and reflects 30% of the sniper's damage back. All right. This seems like it's going to be interesting. Seems like there's a lot of strategy to it. Monsters are here. Use your dicers to get rid of them. Each dicer is equipped with one out of six unique moves. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So there's a lot of strats you can use. Melee, piercer, sniper. Whirlwind. And magic. And bomber. So does he just... Yeah, he hopped from somewhere. Oh, no. He was just sitting there. He attacked, I think. Uh, so who's this guy? And it's 20% damage. Poisons an enemy for three turns. Oh, I landed on a bomb, so that's gonna... Ooh. That's gonna hurt. You see the big damage by stepping on a bomb. Besides exterminating every enemy, you need to watch out for traps. Read the map before making a move. Oh. You're definitely right. Jeez. Alright, charge point. These dicers... Charge point increases by one point every turn. A fully charged dicer can display a special ability depending on the color of the charge. So this one is fully charged? Alright, charge system, if you are attacked by a piercer, your piercer charge is reduced. Oh, okay, so... If I'm hit by a certain... By a certain type that I have, it goes down. Oh, that's... That's gonna suck. That's just where the red charge will enhance attack. Dicers with blue charges will increase dice roll and have a chance of oh and have a chance for rolling high. Okay, cool. Try to get full dicer. That's exactly what I was gonna put out there. What is his effect? Restores five percent of the total HP every round for five turns. Okay. I think I also landed on potion too. They definitely got some cool dicers, which I'm just gonna call them um, monsters or cards. <laughs> All right, dice battle. Increase your dice value by two each. You have fewer dice than the enemies. Okay. Different dice type are used in battles. There are a total of three. Four, six, and ten dice. Ah, okay, I see. Okay, it's, it's starting to make sense. Alright, battle result. Higher dice or roll gets to attack first. Well, you win by a big difference. Critical attack is activated. Alright.
Yeah, with a game like this, it definitely should have been horizontal. Alright, master skill. But they do I just click on that? Oh my god, he leveled up. We've been on the awakened boss. Um Alright, so now we gotta get a high dice roll. Um, Alright. Oh, big difference. We need a train. Okay, so you're talking about training in the middle of a situation where you could die. Okay. Oh, they took away all my high dicers. At the party. At the party. Infinity Tower. Wait a minute, are you taking us into a tower already, or is this an actual, like, dungeon? I'm pretty sure this is technically an adventure. <laughs> I thought they were going to at least label it as such. Uh, let's go ahead and use two. I have no idea what this spot does. Oh, this is a checkpoint. Uh, I don't think we have another. Oh no, we do have another two. Oh, we have a three. Well, time to use two. And another two. I was about to say, I just wanted the potion, to be honest. Alright, the adventure phase seems pretty straightforward and easy. The actual battle phase, that's a different story. Mission completed. Uh, what the hell is that? I guess that's a XP monster. Yeah, we're going to leveling now. So, yeah, that was an XP monster. XP Bean. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Alright. What the hell is this? Oh, it's something to evolve now. Oh, so these are the things we just got from that uh, boss we were fighting. Okay, so they turn from monsters to people. Seems seems about right from what I'm seeing. <laughs> Hope we get to keep that. And you're not just gonna take it away from us. Summon a dicer. Okay, so is the powder? For summoning. I might play a little bit more of this game, to be honest. Not sure how much, but we'll see. Man, just, just go ahead and summon. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get anything, like, extremely good. Ooh. Level four, huh? 
four stars, huh? Reflects damage. Okay, that's actually pretty interesting. You will not take damage higher than... 30. Ooh. That could be really good for, like, really high-level situations. If you're, like, in high-level places, you can use that just to cancel out people's damage. If that's what it's pretty much saying. So that could actually be pretty decent. Infinity Tower. Wolf. Oh. Did I not put it that hello? I think it actually was putting it in. Yeah, we, we somehow got it. <laughs> even though it didn't even show anything up. But, we got it. Alright, we got some gold. So that was pretty much all the tutorial, or... Pretty sure there was more. Uh, how many movements is this? This is four. Let's take out one of you then. Oh, we have several like piercing characters, so yeah, we're definitely taking you out. There's no need for like extras. Free summon. Oh, if we're summoned in like three days, I'm guessing that's what that says. The art style does remind me of, um, what was it? Child of Destiny? Which I still haven't played yet. And if anything, I'm hoping for a North America version before I even touch it. Alright, so this is the next place we're supposed to be in. Okay, cool. Pretty pretty much so far this game seems pretty interesting. It's not half bad. Wish I could find a one. Oh, so you can skip them. Alright, I wish I could... Okay, I was about to say, I wish I could see my HP. So I could pass through all these guys if I wanted to. Or I could just straight up fight them. Alright, just was testing something out. Oh, so you want me to summon a friend, huh? I'm pretty sure summoning a game master is cheating. I just used her for the hell, man. Ooh, and plus we got a lovely little chest there. We can't attack him. Oh, so I thought. Never mind. I forgot. I just used the pierce. So let's go ahead and get to this guy. The only thing I need to get down is the whole typing thing. Like, melee and all that. That's all I need to get down.
Oh, and we get a four star summon. Seal. <laughs> what the hell is that? The thing is just like kill me, bro. Just just end my suffering at this point. So you can also get like shards. Which, I mean, these are technically sh this shard-like system. You completed a mission. Oh, there's more. Much more. Earth. Oh my God. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, well, yeah. So there's 14 of these uh, guide quests that you guys should do because so far it gives like really good rewards. So far. What do I get? Reduce damage from a giant monster's attack. Alright, yeah, that actually seems pretty good. Increases damage by 30%. Increase your dice roll by 4. Oh no, I read that wrong. Increase 4 of your dice. Of your dice 4 by 1. So, what I'm pretty much saying is. You would pretty much use probably four dice here, then use this just to increase it by one. Alright. Pretty straightforward. Oh, we got achievements too. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stack up for like my first summon. Oh, god, that was a lot. Anything else I'm missing? How many moves is this? Five? Oh, jeez, five. Um, this one's melee. So what I'm gonna do is replace you. I increase my attack, but decrease my HP. What do I get out of this? Oh, I get a 3 out of 4. No, 3 out of 5 summon. Kind of a little difficult to see. But yeah, like I said, man, there needs to be like a horizontal setting. Most of the time, I hate vertical games. Uh, let's check around and see if there is one. Actually, I don't see any actual settings. Oh, there it is. Let's see how that looks. Oh, actually, not that bad. All right, let's try rotating. Yeah, rotating doesn't do anything. You're just gonna have it sideways. <laughs> but it looks like it's way better like that, though. If it if it was her, like horizontal, but yeah. To be honest, I, like I said, I just despise vertical games, but that's only just like my personal preference. Oh, there's walled it. monsters. Good, so you can't just like bypass them. All right, good thing we do have a five. Is this poison? Greatly reduces HP for five turns. Yep. Uh, well, let's go ahead and try to avoid that. So it tells you what you're going to attack and what you're not going to attack, too. So if I was to do this, 
I'm landing on that potion. Or not. I guess that did stop me. That's a pierce attack, which would be attacking out there. If I was to go up here, I would be attacking and thinking here, but not him. If I was to use this, then I'll be hitting him. Like I said, pretty straightforward. I kind of want to get to here before we end off. Wait, hold up. Oh, there it is. Get rid of this thing. It's been asking for me to kill it. Especially with a face like that. Dungeon Master. Zone 5. Am I even near Zone 5? Yeah, I am. So this is going to be more story, too. I might skip it, and I'll just let you guys worry about all that. Nah, no, what? Let's just go through it together. We got. Nah, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say we got plenty of time, but it's like we've been recording for like 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure they have a way to go back and look at the story, like most games do. If they don't, then that's kind of troublesome. They should definitely have that function. Just because everybody likes to go back and experience the story again. To enemies and monsters. Uh, do I have a free? Yep, I do. Oh, it did just hit everyone. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Alright, so melee just stops me wherever a person is. And I'll take this dude out. There's also a speed increase if you guys are too lazy to wait for that, like I, mostly I am. Nah, I'm good. Thanks for the offer, but I'm good. Unseal. Do I need like, oh yeah, I think I need a little bit more of that. I'm guessing what that is. That's what it was. Maybe I was wrong. But yeah, guys. I'm going to leave it off there. Hope you guys enjoy. Try out the game yourselves if you guys find the gameplay even a little bit interesting. It is kind of... Mm, meh. Uh, feel free to add me. Even if I don't play these games for long, I can try and make my character to as strong as it can possibly be to help you guys out. Like, pretty much if I'm inactive and... You guys are way higher level than my inactive count then yeah, feel free to remove me <laughs> i have no problem with it but yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys on the next video or live stream peace out hey guys before we actually end off the video um i've been playing a little bit more and been grinding towards um 3, rupees or gems whatever they are and we have enough for summoning so let's go ahead and do it and see what we get then i'm gonna let you guys you know go on your way oh so we have four of these 
So apparently those are, aren't even good. I already have this one. I got that one from, like, uh, doing a stage. This one I don't have. It looks interesting. Increases your attack of your sniper dicers. Alright, that's pretty nice. Alright, we already have one of her. And who's the last one? Oh. Starts a dice battle with the passing player. Okay, that's actually... I like that one. But yeah, guys, that's all. I don't, I'm not sure which uh, characters are the best ones in the game or anything like that. But hey, we finally did a summon. That's all that matters. So yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're going to make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.